And good morning, everybody. Welcome to Lingle High School. Grant Kaith, Mike McNamee, and Ryan Kaith, the uh, marathon crews. We were in Lusk yesterday for a doubleheader. A couple of big games coming up here in Class 2A today from Lingle High School. The first of two, Lingle playing host to the Wright Panthers. This should be one heck of a matchup. Yeah, you know, I think uh, Lingle maybe caught the attention of uh, folks around the state yesterday with a convincing win over Tongue River, who came in ranked number two. Yeah. So now this morning they get their shot at number one. We'll see how that uh, plays out for them. But uh, we mentioned it yesterday, and I think it bears repeating. The 2A East is pretty good and should be very interesting. Yeah. All powerhouse teams. Just luck would have it that they're all in a tournament here in our region. We've got a chance to cover a lot of these top five teams and it'll be the same today. This should be a dandy here this morning. Would like to thank all of our sponsors making these broadcasts possible. And a reminder, we're not only on Kerm FM, but also on our YouTube channel. As uh, You can go to KGOS Sports. View this game as well um, on uh, KGOS Sports. Just go to YouTube, as we said, and uh, you can view it there as we will be video streaming it. Both of the games, the game coming up after this one, will feature Pine Bluffs. So stay tuned. About three hours of basketball here on Kerm FM. Let's uh, take a short break here. We'll uh, hear from our sponsors and come back and take a look at your starting lineups. Anderson Carpet is proud to have been your flooring expert for the past 44 years. Honoring small town values, yet featuring a huge selection that is sure to surprise. Choose from their stock of carpet, hardwood, vinyl plank, vinyl tile, or sheet vinyl for any project. And they have the experts on hand to install them all, giving you a look you'll love for years to come. Stop in and visit today. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturdays from 9 to 1. Anderson Carpet in Lingle. This is Wade Brew, Market President with Pinnacle Bank. Pinnacle Bank has been serving the lending needs of farmers, ranchers, and commercial business owners of the Wyobraska area, where we've called home for over 100 years. Let us put our resources to work for you with local decision-making from a family-owned bank. Give us a call or visit us at www.wypinnbank.com. Pinnacle Bank, Torrington & Mitchell, the way banking should be. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Lingle for Laramie High School. The first of two today, CWAC Games of the Week. The Wright Panthers take on Lingle Fort Laramie. Let's take a look at your starters, brought to you by Simply Real Estate. Whether you're buying or selling, Simply Real Estate has a team of realtors that will make sure the process is as simple and stress-free as possible. Give them a call at 307-338-3069 or stop by their office, Simply Real Estate. They make real estate simple for you. That's 338 30 69, and here is a look at those starters. Okay, let's meet the right starters here first. They'll go this way. Jackson Neely, a six foot four inch uh, junior, will be the three guard. The uh, two guard will be Bridger Warman. He is a five foot nine inch junior. The uh, point guard will be, oh no, excuse me, the point guard will be Jacob Vasquez. Vasquez, a five foot nine inch senior. At the four spot will be Dolan Glasser. Glasser, six foot four and a senior. And the five man will be Mitchell Strohshine. Strohshine, 6'4", and a sophomore. So again, it'll be Neely and Vasquez out front down low. It'll be Strohshine, Warman, and Vasquez. For the Lingo Fort Laramie uh, starters here, they'll go this way. Anthony Arnish, a 5'7", inch sophomore, will be joined by Skyler Thomas. Thomas, 6' even, is a junior. Brody Roberts at 6'1", is also a junior. Ned Nelson at 6'1", a junior, and Brady Cook. At 6'4", he is a sophomore. Wright comes in at 10-1. and one. Lingle, I am not exactly sure. We're going to double-check that and find out, but it would appear they are 5-2, five 5-2, and two, five and two, Ryan thinks. So big thanks to uh, Simply Real Estate for sponsoring our starting lineups, and here's Grant. All right, so Wright will come out. Well, let's pause here. Ryan, let's take a short break here as we will uh, have the National Anthem back after this. 
Hi, this is Levi from Banner Health Torrington Community Hospital. In order to provide better access into our facility, there will be ongoing construction with the parking lot on the south side of the campus. Patients needing to visit our orthopedic providers, podiatry, or general surgeons may use the newly completed parking area south of the medical office building. For all other patients needing outpatient testing or to visit a friend or loved one, use the north entrance until further notice. For continued updates on this project, check out our Facebook page, Banner Health Torrington Community Hospital, making healthcare easier so life can be better. Bloodhorn Lumber has a way for you to save big on the first Saturday of every month. And all you have to do is become a rewards program member. Stop in the store today and get enrolled. Then, the first Saturday of every month, when you shop at Bloodhorn Lumber, they'll take 10% off your entire purchase, no matter what it is. It's that easy. Become a rewards program member today. Stop in at Bloodhorn Lumber and sign up. Located at 219 West 21st Avenue. Domino's carryout deal means you can carry out one topping pizzas for $7.99 each when you order online or by phone. Just in case there's any confusion, we've even set up a helpful website to confirm if today is a day you can carry out one topping pizzas for $7.99 each. Just go to howabouttoday.com to find out if Domino's carryout deal is valid today. Spoiler alert, it is. Carry out only. Ask for this offer. Availability and charges may vary. Size availability varies by crust type. Excludes XL and specialty. Your local store may charge extra for some toppings and sauces. Lingle in their home whites to start this morning's game with royal blue trim and numerals. Wright will be in their blacks with the gold trim, gold numerals. Wright comes in 9-1 and one on the year, the number one ranked team in Class 2A. Impressive yesterday as we saw them play. Lingle not ranked. Uh, we saw them at, what, number 7 as the poll that we looked at yesterday. And they come in 5-2, and two. head coach... Uh, Chris Cook for the Wright Panthers, longtime coach Pat Neely. And both teams shaking hands. Center court just about ready to get this one underway. I think we should all shake hands. Let's. Wanna? Yeah. Yep. Good luck. Broadcast hug. Good luck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's do this. Center circle Glasser. And Brady Cook will tee it up here. Cook stands 6'4. Glasser also at 6'4. Ball up in the air. And the Panthers have it as we will get underway here, and they will almost throw it away as Neely has it. Right wing, just above the free throw line now, picks up his dribbles. He'll feed up high to Vasquez. Right wing three on the way. That's good by Neely. Yeah, that's uh, we saw that last night. Neely capable of doing that and shows right away that he's got range. He is good. Just a junior. Lingle with their first opportunity. They'll go right outside, feed in deep Cook. Tough shot up over his defender, left it short. Rebound out of there by the Panthers. Up ahead, Neely has it. Left wing, steps in, jump stop, weaves in. Shot up, no good. We'll get a whistle and a foul here. Now, Offensive call charge. Call the walk. Oh. Yeah, they called the walk on it. Leaned in with the shoulder as well. Bit out of control on that dribble drive. Panthers up 3-0. Now in paint, shot up good, and the foul. Nice move by Brody Roberts for yeah. Lingle Fort Laramie. Just recognized that there wasn't anybody home to defend. Took it right down the lane, right at the uh, defense there, and he'll get the end one opportunity. Caught the Panthers sleeping here in this morning contest. The end one on the way by Roberts. Good, nothing but net. We are tied at three on the CNA scoreboard. Just underway, one of two games today here on Kerm FM. Neely, guarded by Roberts, works around a pick, picks up his dribble, top of the key. Snaps it right side to Warman. Warman in paint, shot on the way, no good. He'll walk with it. You know, it's always interesting as we watched the game last night with Lusk, you see matchup uh, with matchups within the game. It'll be interesting to watch Glasser and Cook as they go at it. Uh, that should be two six four kids that will test each other. Yeah, Arnish. In deep, Cook in a double team. Spin move in paint. Left-handed hook on the way. That's no good. Roberts, the rebound. Put back. Got it. Nice job on the offensive glass. Roberts has five. Lingo leads it 5-3. Not that tall of a kid, but uh, big board for them right there. Out of the paint now. Neely has it. Left elbow. Mm. Stepped on the sideline. Huh. And then a little bit of John back and forth. Interesting. I didn't think they could do that before noon. Below our vantage point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the turnover and Lingle with the basketball here. 
5-3, your score in deep. Cook off that right block, tried to spin around, lost a handle on it, picked up by Neely. Stolen away, or Arnish after it, still loose, and the Panthers away with it. Up ahead they go now. Into Glasser in paint, shot up, that's good. Yeah, Glasser's a good basketball player. I was most impressed with him there last night. As Roberts will have it on the dribble. Kick it out left side. Three ball on the way. That's left short by Nelson. And the Panthers with it on the run. Up ahead they go to Vasquez in paint. Three footer on the way. That's no good. Loose ball picked up by Roberts. And here come the Doggers. Long lead up ahead now to Thomas. Kick it back out left side. Feed it back to Cook. Free throw line shot on the way. That's no good. Rebound. All Panthers there. Yeah, I was going to say all five <laughs> black shirts in the, in the lane there. Vasquez with a basketball. Three ball on the way. That's off. Long rebound is going to be run down by Cook. And the Doggers with it on the run. Up the floor they go. In deep. Off glass. Nice shot by Brody Roberts. I like the break there. Looking up ahead. Nice pass. And Roberts with the finish. Yeah, all eyes up ahead. Seven to five now. Lingle with the lead here. Five minutes to play. Opening quarter. Vasquez, right elbow, feeds in deep, all alone, right side, streaming through, will bank it up good, Dolan Glasser. Did a nice job working off of that high ball screen there, and then just the little pick and roll. Knots it up at seven. Here come the Doggers, left side, outside, three ball, open, shot by Nelson, no good. Clanks off the rim, and the Panthers out of there with it. I had my stat sheet. I could keep offensive rebounds, but <laughs> we're obviously we can't have that. Vasquez in paint. Dishes off to Strohshine, who touches the basketball. Shot up no good, but he is fouled. I'm going to get it on. Uh, it'll go on Cook. His first first team foul will send Strohshine to the line. Yeah, we had uh, quite a ruckus getting out of the radio station this morning. Strohshine's first is up and good. Sounds like maybe some uh, situations that the insurance is going to have <laughs> to deal with. Band-aids <laughs> and everything, <Exactly>. yeah. <laughs> Wound up with no stat sheets. Poor, uh, poor Bubba. Well, I'll tell you, uh, Ryan and I made mention of it in last night's game. This team shoots outstanding free throws Stro as Strohshine gets both of them. Yep. Nice stroke there. A little backcourt pressure here now as Arnish. Looks to break it. It's a two-point lead for the Panthers early on here on the CNA scoreboard. Arnish works around a pick. Bounce pass left side Cook. Out left side to Nelson. Now Thomas as the Doggers work it around the horn here. Panthers will stick in a 2-3 zone. Arnish steps in. Tough shot off the glass. Can't get it. Cook after it. Second chance. No good. Thomas gets it along the baseline. Kick it back out to Arnish. And the Doggers reload. Top of the key. Hatch into the game. Will step in paint and knock it down. It's a nice bucket for Hatch. He's the first one other than Brody Roberts to score. Neely with a basketball. Left side on the angle. Good ball handler. Just a junior. Leans in, kick it out left side, three ball on the way. That's no good by Strohshine. And Hatch with the board, he'll give it, give it away. Panthers with it again. Stripped back by Cook, and here come the Doggers. Up ahead now to Roberts in paint. Knocked down the shot, and he's fouled. Boy, Brody Roberts now with nine in the contest. Excuse me, was, uh, yeah, will be nine in the contest. Chance to make it ten. They are going to let him play in the lane, aren't they? Yeah. There was big contact down mm -hmm. here. Which is fine if you know. Yeah. <laughs> and stick with it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Roberts to the free throw line. The and one on the way. Left that one short. Fight for the rebound. It's loose. Cook after it. And the Doggers reload here. Here's Arnish. NBA left angle three. That's no good. Rebound brought down by the Panthers. Nice job as Arnish comes up and defends on the break opportunity, forces the violation. Ball back to Lingle here. Yeah, that's probably a shot Arnish wanted back. That was gotten, out there. Gotten a bit of a hurry there. Yeah. I'll tell you, this right team will make you think in terms of, i got to get it off quickly. They defend very well. Got some length. So, yeah, Arnish was going to seize the opportunity. 
Cook in a double team now will dish off, kick it back out, left side, outside. Thomas lobs in for Cook, having trouble with it, saves it in bounds. Finds Roberts again, leans in, tough shot, got it. <laughs> that is a tough, you're right, that is a tough shot. Nice little step through on the ball fake there. Got the finger roll, 13 to nine. Lingle up on the number one ranked team in the state. Neely has it, head fake, top of the arc. Dribble drive, left side, nice move, shot up, left it short. Loose ball picked up by Roberts. And the outlet to Arnish, up ahead. Outlet right side, Hatch for three, got it. How about him off of the bench? He's got five and that prompts a timeout. Chris Cook fired up and gets the timeout. 2.28 to go, first quarter on the CNA scoreboard. Lingle lead, 16 to nine. We'll be back right after this. At Points West Community Bank, we know that agriculture is more than a business. It is a way of life. With over 94 years of experience in serving Goshen County, we understand and value the ways of our local farmers and ranchers through the quality of banking services and lending relationships. We take the time to know our customer and learn their operation firsthand. Stop in today to meet with our friendly and experienced lending staff to discuss your agricultural business needs. We look forward to seeing you. Points West Community Bank, a new direction in banking. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Points West Bank in Lingle, proud supporter of the Lingle Fort Laramie Doggers. Lingle impressive to start this, as Tim Hurst would say, coffee and donut game. Well, I'm not going to say anything about it yet, but I made a prediction. <laughs> you did. Uh -huh. You did. Yep, and it's too early to stand up in the stirrups on that deal yet, but they look good. I kind of figured, and again, it's just some matchup things. I think one of the <coughs> most interesting ones is Brody uh, Roberts on Jackson Neely. Brody's caused some fits for Jackson early on. And there was a lot of energy spent in that game last night. It's true. Yeah. He put up 100 points. Yeah. He's going to do it. Yeah. Shot up by Vasquez is good. He will be fouled and goes to the free throw line. 219 to go. First quarter here on the Clark and Associates scoreboard. Bucket counts. It may have been a lane violation, but no call. The shot was no good. Fight for it will go out of bounds. Lingle gets it back here. Yeah, he left way early. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Strohshine was in there way early. They missed the free throw, but now Frontier Justice gives the ball back to Lingle. Arnish now with it on the run out of the backcourt. Some token pressure back there. Arnish bounce pass in. Cook double team. Kick it back out. And Lingle will run the offense. Well, you see a Pat Neely theme here with the double team on that low block on Cook. Got to be able to find somebody breaking off of that. Got him out on a wing now. And will feed it to Thomas. Now Hatch leans in paint. 13-footer, good He's got on the runner. Yeah, he's got seven off the bench here in the quarter. Pretty impressive. Yeah. 18 to 11, Lingle leads. Vasquez with a basketball. As the Panthers now will run offense. In deep off that right block, Glasser put it up good. Yeah, it, Glasser's a good basketball player and uh, just did a nice job putting Cook on his high side and then drop step low for the easy finish. Arnish with a basketball for Lingle, 18 to 13. Doggers lead. And Hatch on the dribble will kick it back out. Right elbow to Thomas. Roberts now leads a jumper on the way. That's good. Yeah, Brody's kind of doing it all right now. I'll have to run that stat line on him. He's pretty smooth. Yeah, he is. 20 to 13, Lingle. Vasquez with a basketball, bounce pass in, looking for Glasser in a double team. Feeds up high now to Strohshine for three. That's off no good. Rebound, put back attempt on the way, and that rolls off the front of the rim, and we'll get a whistle and a foul. Not sure who they're going to get here. Could go on either Hatch or Cook. They'll give it to Hatch, his first, just the third team foul here, and it will send Strohshine to the free throw line. One of two... Stroh shines on this team. Three of them. Three of them. Yeah. As he knocks down the first. We'll have another one. Yeah, and a pair of them are sophomores. Twins, maybe? Yeah, that's what. Cousins? Uh, very possibly. 
we have run into some situations with those right teams up there. I'll never forget uh, the sisters on that one team. Oh. Free throw missed, and Neely goes up high for the rebound. Off the shot, he will be fouled. Sorry, that's not much of a color call. Ooh. Yeah. That's a ref um, we haven't seen. A couple of these from around the region. Joe Wilson working with the Nebraska crew here. Is it? Yeah. yeah. In deep shot up, no good by Strohshine, and Lingle is out of there with it as Roberts has it on the run. Picks up the dribble, feeds Hatch in the corner left side. Now to Arnish. Works around a defender, keeps the ball hot on the dribble. Nine seconds left to go opening quarter. Arnish steps in, 12-footer on the way. That rolls off. Neely pulls down the board. Two seconds left. Desperation shot is no good at the buzzer. We're at the end of one. From Lingle High School on the Clark and Associates scoreboard, Lingle leads by six. And we'll be back right after this. Living, you're always looking for the latest advances to help your fields be more profitable. That's why it's time to turn to Channel. When you plant elite Channel seed products, you also get the services of your very own Channel Seedsman. For customized service, expert advice, and elite seed products, your local Channel Seedsman is Cole Coxville. Be sure to ask him about other crop options as well, including soybeans. Call 575-2147. I'm Maggie Myers, your Torrington Edward Jones Financial Advisor. We're all about financial investments, but we also value the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why Edward Jones is proud to cheer on our area teams on KGOS KERM. Call 532-3431 or visit edwardjones.com for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Grant Kaith, Mike McNamee, and Ryan Kaith alongside. Again, a reminder, this game also, uh, not only on Kerm FM, also being video streamed on our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and type in KGOS Sports. You can view it there. Not only this game, but the game coming up next will feature Pine Bluffs. Lingle with a six-point lead here as we start the second quarter. And they will have the basketball as Eli Hatch has it left wing on the dribble. Into the paint now. Kicks it up high. Right back to Hatch. Lobs in looking for Cook. That's deflected. Picked up by Cook. And will feed underneath. Shot up off the glass. Tough angle. Brody Roberts knocks it down. He's got 13 right now. Lingle's only got two players in the scoring column. Really? Yeah. Right back on offense here. Down 22 to 14. Three ball by Neely. That's an air ball. Rebound ripped out of there by Ned Nelson. Here come the Doggers on the attack. 22 to 14 they lead. Roberts finds Hatch. Long three. That's good. You know, I think they're so concerned with defending Roberts, Arnish, Cook. They've kind of left Hatch alone. They better pay attention. He's got 10. As now having trouble with it, Vasquez spin move in the paint, shot up, and that is good. Vasquez with four. 25 to 16 Lingle. Backcourt pressure, they break it. Arnish feeds left side to Nelson for three. That's off. Rebound ripped out of there by Strohshine. Up ahead to Neely. One-on-one -on -one break, left side. Nice move, and he'll pump fake and bank it up good. It was pretty slick, just uh, went up and over the top of a streaking Ned Nelson. He's smooth, just a junior. Had a huge game last night. Hasn't shot the ball as well this morning, has he? No. Hatch snaps a pass left side to Arnish in the corner. Wants to go baseline, drives now, feeds it right wing. Move by Nelson in paint, finds Cook, and he'll put it up good. Got the bunny. Yeah, and you got to credit Nelson with the assist there. 27-18, Lingle. Left side in paint now. Glasser, nice move in paint, shot up good off the glass. Glasser's got eight. Right hanging in there. Seven point lead for the Doggers. It's Roberts along the baseline in the corner to Hatch for three, got it. I don't think he's missed from beyond the arc. Uh -huh. He may not have missed anything. I yet. don't think so, yeah, yeah. he is hot. 
builds that lead back to 10 for the Doggers. Vasquez splits defenders off that right block, rolls off the rim, no good. Cook with the board. Up ahead to Roberts, in paint. Off the front of the iron, and the Panthers out of there with it. Credit the board to Glasser. Panthers will feed into Strohshine now. Neely, and he'll go up with a tough shot, no good, but he is fouled. Nelson will pick up the personal. That is his first. First of the quarter on the Doggers, but he was fouled in the act of shooting, so Neely will go to the free throw line. Jackson Neely, a 6'4", junior lefty. First is no good. I think you may have jinxed him on the free throw line shooting here. Well, that's what I was going to say because I don't think they've hit one since I made I mention of how so. well they shot it last <laughs> night, and they didn't miss anything until the fourth quarter last night, I don't think. Jackson Neely back up there. This one nothing but net. The lead is nine for the Doggers. They have the basketball. Five minutes to go. Opening half. Arnish on the dribble. Lobs in. Hits the backboard now. Hatch will run it down. Right side, Roberts in paint. Kicks down low into Nelson. Nelson trying to get position. And the offensive charge. Yeah, he dropped that shoulder, so he picks up two quick personal fouls. That will prompt a substitution. Yeah, I think that's the right call. You try and create a little space there with that shoulder and called for the charge. So Skyler Thomas will check into the game. Panthers with a basketball down nine. Vasquez has it right elbow. Works around Arnish. Lobs down low. Shot up. No good. Wild shot by Glasser. And the Doggers up out of there with it in the corner now is Hatch. He'll throw it away. Stolen away by Neely. Jackson bounce pass left side. Wild shot up. No good. Falls into the hands of the Panthers. And next shot up by Glasser is no good. Here come the Doggers. A little out of control here. Yeah, a little uh, ragtag. You know, I think Lingle's one team that probably wants to run as much as Wright uh, and a team that obviously able to do so with 30 points on the board here halfway through the second quarter. Yeah, that one just got a little, uh, that one got a little out of control. So Panthers will have the basketball. Neely on the dribble, leans in, 12-footer on the way. That's good. That is a nice shot. Spin move in the lane, fall away, jumper. He's got 10. The lead is seven for the Doggers. They have it. Roberts right side, outside, bounce pass along the baseline, trying to find Cook. He was knocked away out of bounds, last touch by Wright. Strohshine, one of the Strohshines checks back in. Inbound pass to Roberts, deflected, and the Panthers out of there with it. Up ahead, Strohshine off the right block, feeds his brother or cousin, left-handed shot up off the glass. That's good. And timeout taken. The lead is five now as the Panthers on a little run here. 3.40 to go in the half, and we'll be back right after this break. Go Goshen is a nonprofit organization that has been helping economic development in Goshen County since 1987. In Goshen County, small business is big business, which is why Go Goshen's top priority is the retention and expansion of local businesses. Want to learn more? Tune in every Tuesday morning at 8.05 on 98.3 KERM FM for Goshen in the Know. You'll hear the latest from Go Goshen team members on business news and events in the county. Or visit gogoshen.com. Whether you're a Wyoming Cowboy fan or a Trailblazer, Lancer, Dogger, or Cyclone, Heartland Embroidery has the apparel and accessories you need to show your school colors. Stop in the store on Main Street in Torrington and take a look for yourself. From jackets and t-shirts to everyday gear and accessories, we promise you'll find something for the whole family. With new items always coming into the store, you'll always find that perfect item to show off your school spirit. Only at Heartland Embroidery, downtown Torrington. After the timeout and a run by the Wright Panthers, they are within five. Yeah, I don't think you can rest on this team when you've got a kid like Neely that can light it up from the perimeter. Uh, but right now, Elijah Hatch, the one lighting up the perimeter. Yeah. Doggers have it after the called timeout as Arnish will snap it over right side to Thomas. 
Cook working right side outside, and Hatch going to throw it away as it was stolen away by Storshine. Ooh, and then a T. He just, Joe Wilson just whacked Neely with a technical foul. Jackson said something Coach Neely, oh, Jackson. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Well, he seemed to disagree with a lot of calls yesterday. <laughs> yeah, he's going to call it off. He gave it to him, and now he's, what are they, he reversed the call. Upon further review. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean it. Yep. Here's a shot and miss by Eli Hatch, the first of the day. It was a outside three ball, but he gets the ball back as he steals it away up ahead. Now Roberts, he'll lay it up, rolls off the rim, no good. And a whistle and a foul off the rebound. That is a double negative. Roberts thought about attempting the dunk, got it over the front of the rim there, but then on the uh, rebound attempt, Thomas picks up the personal foul. So the Panthers get it back here down five. Vasquez will run it up the floor for right. Arnish will come up to defend him. Strohshine now in paint, five footer on the way, rolls off the rim, no good. Cook the rebound. Hands off to Roberts. Bounce pass left side, right back to Roberts, up over a defender, shot up, no good. It'll go out of bounds and last touched by Jackson Neely. I'm surprised at how Brody Roberts can get to the rim. Uh, you know, for a kid that, like yeah. you said, he doesn't seem that big, uh -uh. but he gets, gets her done. Inbound pass to Cook off the left block. They let, left him open, banks it up good, and he's fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. The personal foul goes on Jackson Neely, his first. That is the first team foul of the quarter. Big bucket for the Doggers there as Cook cannot connect on the end one. Saved in bounds, though, but right to a Panther, and then they'll throw it away. So back-to-back -back turnovers here. Lingle gets it back with 2.34 left to go in the half. We're seeing the difference between playing a game at 5.30 last night and then playing one at 10 o'clock in the morning. I think you brought up a good point. Wright put a lot on the line to beat Lusk there last night. Yeah. Ended up a 20-point game, but that was much closer in a well-fought ball game. Back and forth. A lot of energy spent, and here's a 10-footer that's off, no good, missed by Roberts. Panthers out of there with it, Vasquez with it. On the dribble, in paint now, has trouble with it. Now the fadeaway from five is no good, but they will whistle it dead. Hmm. Did you hear a whistle? I didn't hear it. Everybody stopped. Personal foul goes on Anthony Arnish, his first. So the Panthers key it in. Vasquez has it left side, outside to Strohshine, and Neely right elbow. Puts the ball to the floor, leans in, lobs in for Strohshine, deflected and taken away by Arnish. Arnish under two minutes to play. Doggers lead it, 32 to 25. The lob in for Roberts. Cook picks it up, puts up the shot, no good. Hard off the glass, but he is fouled. I think they'll get Neely here again. Neely had stepped over to help, and that is exactly who it will go on. So two quick fouls on him will send Brady Cook to the line to shoot a pair. Brady, a 6'4 sophomore. First is on the way, and that is good. Still just three doggers in the scoring column here. Roberts, Hatch, and Cook looking for that balance. Second on the way, that's good as well. Lead back to nine for the Doggers and right with the basketball. Strohshine in a double team will have to feed up high to Vasquez. Leans in, nine footer on the way, that's off no good. Ball deflected around and picked up by the Doggers. Brody Roberts swings a pass left side over to Arnish. And a hatch, top of the arc, Thomas for three, left it short. Rebound ripped out of there by Strohshine, and then he'll be tied up by Hatch. So a jump ball called. And the possession arrow will favor right. With a minute 21 left to go in the half. Pine Bluffs coming up next. 
here from Lingle High School in this SmackDown tournament. Games played in Lusk. Now the steal by Cook has it on the dribble. Bounce pass to Roberts. Up to Arnish, open for three. He'll fire. That rims around and rolls in. He used all the rim there, didn't he? He did. Arnish with his first bucket. Maybe the biggest lead here is Neely who tries to answer with a three. That's off no good. Doggers out of there with it. Up ahead now to Thomas. Thomas in paint. Bank it up good. Nice job by Thomas of challenging Neely there to get the bucket. 39-25 Lingle. 35 seconds left in the opening half. Vasquez feeds left side to Strohshine. Stolen away in paint. Tried to force a pass. Hatch with it. 23 seconds left to go in the half. Doggers can play for the last shot here. And their biggest lead of 14. Roberts feeds right side, hatch wide open, right corner, three, got it! Wow. That's a difference in the game Ooh, right now. He's clutch. Yeah. Biggest lead for the Doggers, Jackson Neely, three ball in and out, no good from way deep. And we are at the half. Doggers have looked good, have their biggest lead against the number one ranked team in Class 2A. At the half, it's Lingle 42, right 25. We'll be back right after this. Hi, this is Aubrey at First State Bank in Torrington. Do you feel a chill from your current bank? Snuggle up with totally free checking. Join the warmth of our First State Bank family with a checking account that's truly free. You can cash in and get $25 when you bring in your debit cards and unused checks from your current bank when you open a new checking account. Know what else will make you feel warm and fuzzy? When you open a checking account, you'll get a free gift, a velvety soft Sherpa blanket. That's our way of saying thank you. First State Bank in Torrington, a division of Glacier Bank, member FDIC. Your farm or ranch is unique. Your insurance coverage should be too. I'm Kyle Rafferty, and at JG Elliott Insurance Center, we provide coverage for everything you work hard for day in and day out. We tailor coverages to meet the needs of your operation. Together, we can find the right policy to protect you from the unexpected. Give me a call at 532-2147 or drop by my office here in Torrington. JG Elliott Insurance, a Platte Valley company. Are you planning a kitchen remodel but don't know where to start? Hi, this is Dan Shields from Century Lumber. Start with semi-custom diamond cabinets and Century Lumber. Diamond cabinets offer the latest door styles and finishes at an affordable price. I can walk you through all the features and benefits and provide a free estimate and expert design. Stop in and turn that vision of your dream kitchen into a reality with the help of Century Lumber Center in Torrington. Shopping for a used vehicle can be a scary proposition. Who can you trust? Laramie Peak Motors in Wheatland is who you can trust. At Laramie Peak Motors, they keep and purchase only the best pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Then they're subject to a full certification inspection before making them available. But that's not all. Their motto is old-fashioned service for modern times. They stand behind everything they sell. Laramie Peak Motors, I-25, exit 80 in Wheatland. Easy to get to from anywhere in southeastern Wyoming. Laramie Peak Motors. Anderson Carpet is proud to have been your flooring expert for the past 44 years. Honoring small town values yet featuring a huge selection that is sure to surprise. Choose from their stock of carpet, hardwood, vinyl plank, vinyl tile, or sheet vinyl for any project. And they have the experts on hand to install them all, giving you a look you'll love for years to come. Stop in and visit today. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturdays from 9 to 1. Anderson Carpet in Lingle. Not sure if you're on the right track? Platte Valley Bank can help you and your finances moving forward. Having a plan to save and spend can help build your financial confidence. Knowing you have the right savings plan can help build your financial success. With free tools like online banking and helpful products like automatic savings plans and budgeting tools, you are in control of your financial future. Start saving today at www.pvbank.com. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank, member FDIC. 
I used to think that so long as I was careful, I couldn't get injured. But being sidelined with a torn ACL definitely wasn't in my plans this season. My family made an appointment for me with the providers at Memorial Hospital of Converse County. Their knowledge and care helped me heal and learn how to prevent future injuries. I found an all-star team for my health care in their orthopedic and sports medicine department, one that will keep me in great shape and suiting up. I discovered that bigger isn't always better at Memorial Hospital of Converse County. At Platte River Family Dentistry, it's their vision that patients have the freedom to choose a lifetime of optimum dental health. It's their mission to provide progressive excellence in dental care with the ultimate in patient comfort. Dr. Marsh, Dr. Lucas, and the staff are always striving to learn the most up-to-date information. So it's clear to see that Platte River Family Dentistry is the right choice for your dental health. They appreciate your referrals and always welcome new patients. Call Platte River Family Dentistry at 532-4448. Welcome back to Lingle High School. Grant Kaith, Mike McNamee, and Ryan Kaith alongside here this morning for a doubleheader. And it has been entertaining. The Lingle Fort Laramie Doggers look good and are putting it to the number one ranked team in Class 2A, uh, the Wright Panthers, by a count of 42-25 to here at the half. Time for a look at halftime scoring brought to you by North Platte Physical Therapy. North Platte Physical Therapy is committed to keeping you at the top of your game on or off the court. Marnie and her crew are on the ball and ready to help you figure out what ails you and how to get you back to your very best. North Platte Physical Therapy, where they provide quality professional care with a family-friendly atmosphere and always flexibility. Stop by at 1301 East M Street or call 532-5355. And here's Michael with a look at some of the scoring. Okay, Wright did it this way. Um, scoring for the Panthers, Jackson Neely with eight along with uh, Dolan Glasser. He has eight. Four points for Jacob Vasquez and two points for Mitchell Strohshine. Check that. Strohshine with a better outing than that. He actually has five. So Wright trailed this one 20 to 14 at the end of the first quarter and now trail it. 42 to 25 at the half. Interesting to note as we talked there during the break. This was a 27 to 20 game, and then Lingo went on a 15 to 5 run the rest of that second quarter to uh, build the big lead that they have right now. They did it this way. The Doggers were led in scoring by Elijah Hatch. Hatch off of the bench with 14 points. He had four three point field goals, and as we talked during the broadcast, I don't think he missed one beyond the arc. Uh -huh. Maybe one, but. Shot very well off of the bench. 13 points for Brody Roberts. Three points for Anthony Arnish on one three-point field goal. Skyler Thomas had a bucket, and Brady Cook had six. As a team, Lingle three of five at the free throw line, and Wright four of seven at the free throw line. So, as you mentioned, Grant, Lingle looked pretty good. Yeah, and, and pretty impressive run there. Wright got it to within five. And then all of a sudden, Lingle opens it up in the latter stages of that second quarter and opens this thing up to 17. So uh, be interesting. Second half for sure. Looking forward to it. Um, and then, as you mentioned, also looking forward to that Pine and Bighorn game uh, after this one. So back-to-back -back basketball games here uh, for your Saturday morning entertainment. Yes, and we will uh, take a break here. We'll hear from our sponsors and come back with second half action. We'll do that here in about three minutes. Torrington Vision Source is a proud radio sponsor of area athletes and the Wyoming Cowboys. We're your one source for your family's eye care needs. Eye exam, full service optical, contact lenses, eye diseases and injuries, surgical co-management. We use the latest in technology, not only in diagnosing your problem, but also in the products to fix it. Our helpful and friendly staff is just a phone call or click away. 532-4114 or TorringtonVisionSource.com or like us on Facebook. Torrington Vision Source, Drs. Grant and Linda Jones, East M Street in Torrington. At Points West Community Bank, we know that agriculture is more than a business. It is a way of life. With over 94 years of experience in serving Goshen County, we understand and value the ways of our local farmers and ranchers through the quality of banking services and lending relationships. We take the time to know our customer and learn their operation firsthand. Stop in today to meet with our friendly and experienced lending staff to discuss your agricultural business needs. We look forward to seeing you. Points West Community Bank, a new direction in banking. Equal housing lender member FDI. I see. Points West Bank and Lingle, proud supporter of the Lingle Fort Laramie Doggers. 
Happy New Year. This is Al Maloney, General Manager at TransWest Ford in Scotts Bluff. With new inventory arriving daily, now it's time to take advantage of low APR financing on 2023 F-150, Escape, Explorer, and Bronco Sport. Call or stop by to meet with our sales team today. Give our team a call at 308-635-3701 or visit us at TWFord.com. TransWest Ford, you've shopped the rest, now buy from the best. Before you head out on your next road trip, Ty's Pit Stop in Lingle invites you to stop in and stock up. They continue to serve the area with competitive gas prices, and they've got plenty of road trip snacks to choose from. With Coca-Cola products along with other hot and cold beverages, snacks, fresh entrees that are always hot and ready, and even adult beverages for the weekend. Ty's Pit Stop on the corner in Lingle, locally and veteran owned and operated. Knowing your cost of production is vital to a successful operation. Along with reliable service and quality products, Westco can help lock in your fuel rates for the new year with 2024 fuel contracts. Contact your local Westco fuel representative for more information on fuel contracting. We thank you for your patronage in 2023 and look forward to serving you throughout the new year. Westco, service, solutions, success. Westco's your best value through and through. Whether you need your garage door replaced or repaired, you can have peace of mind knowing that the job will be done right by Kevin and the other professionals at Wheatland Garage Door. Serving Eastern Wyoming for the past seven years with over 20 years of experience, you'll get quality workmanship, warranties for new installs, and always free estimates. For residential, commercial, and industrial doors, go to WheatlandGarageDoor.com or call them today at 307-322-2200. Back live at Lingle Fort Laramie High School. Score updates brought to you by the Bronco Grill House. When you're in the mood for a really good hamburger, why not go where you'll get the very best in town? That's the Bronco Grill House on Main and Torrington. Make sure you check it out. Let's look at uh, some girl scores from yesterday's round of tournaments in the East Smackdown that was held in Sundance and Wright. The Pine Girls defeated uh, Bighorn 51-21. Tongue River, number one, the number one ranked team in 2A girls defeated Fort Laramie. Lingle Fort Laramie 60 to 50, the final in that one. So wow. good basketball game there. Lingle then defeated Wright 41 to 38. Sundance knocked off Pine Bluffs. Uh, those two were both ranked uh, tied at number four, and Sundance gets the win in overtime, 36 to 29. Brody Roberts, a missed opportunity in the paint. Panthers have the basketball now. Neely, head fake with the three ball, puts the ball to the floor, leans in, 10-footer on the way. That's off no good. Rebound ripped out of there by Thomas, and we will get a whistle and a foul. Glasser going to pick up his second as he fouled Thomas. It would be interesting to see this third quarter if Jackson Neely kind of feels the need to take this game over. I think he's got the ability to do it, but can't do it all by yourself either. Little backcourt pressure as Arnish now breaks the timeline. Keeps the ball hot on the dribble and feeds up top to Roberts. Roberts bounce pass in intended for Cook. Missed it. Picked up by the Panthers. The lead is 17 for Lingle. And the lob in. Looking for a dogger. Nobody there. Or check that. A Panther. Nobody there. Will throw it away and... Doggers get it back here. In your defense, there wasn't either a dogger or <laughs> a panther either there. one. Yeah. <laughs> Arnish now in the backcourt, crosses the timeline. Good little ball handler. Point guard for Lingle. Bounce pass in. Roberts having trouble with it and a reach. Going to get the hold on Stroshine. Lane Stroshine picks up his first. Foul is not an issue really on either side. They have let him play. Yeah. Skyler Thomas will inbound it. Does so up high to Anthony Arnish, a five foot seven sophomore. Reels around to the right side along the baseline. It's deflected out of bounds, stays with Lingle. Arnish, by the way, pretty good kicker on that dogger football team this fall. Yeah, he hit a couple of big field goals. We Robert. were in Lingle tonight. He hit the one to beat uh, yeah. Pine, I think, wasn't it? Uh, southeast, wasn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. you're right, yep. 
Another turnover here. Been a problem a minute and a half into the uh, third quarter here. Neither team with a bucket yet. Yeah, the lead stays at 17 for Lingle. And Vasquez will jog it up the floor for the Panthers. Lingle not ranked coming into this game in Class 2A. Here's a shot along the baseline. Tough by Neely. No good. Reverse Reversal trying to get it up and in and cannot do so. Vasquez after it. Volleyballed around will go out of bounds and back to Lingle. Well, they had a couple of shots there. Just wouldn't fall. Well defended in there, too. Cook did a nice job, and then Roberts got a big block there at the end of that exchange. Roberts, dribble drive in paint, kick it out right side. Cook having trouble with it, picks it up, kicks it up high, back low as Nelson couldn't get a handle on it. It's going to be stolen away by the Panthers on the other end. Shot up no good, but a whistle and a foul. Thomas with the personal here. That is Thomas's second first team foul. Ball out of bounds to the Panthers. Just underway here in the third quarter. Here comes Hatch into the ball game to replace Thomas. Well, if nobody wants to score, I guess get Hatch in there. Yeah, no kidding. Instant offense in his first trip, wasn't he? Yep. Neely with the inbounder, feeds it up high to Vasquez, deflected by the Dogger defense and stolen away. Cook with the takeaway. Up ahead, Roberts, dribble drive, and left it short. Rebound brought down by the Panthers. Up ahead, Vasquez forces one in deep, deflected, but picked up by Neely, shot up no good, and Cook comes up with the rebound. Rebound. Outlet pass to Roberts. Now into Hatch, leans in, 15-footer, that rolls off. And the board comes away to Strohshine. Both Long. teams. Oh, sorry, Grant. Go ahead. Both teams working hard, just can't get a shot to fall. Out of control just a bit as Neely forced one and it's taken away by Cook. See if the Doggers can do something here. Five minutes to go in the third. Hatch, bounce pass in. Arnish streaming the lane, lost it. And stolen it away. We go to the other end, and trying to save it inbounds was Hatch, but it'll go out of bounds. Yeah, nearly uh, over three minutes into the quarter now, and nobody able to get the lid off yet. Strohshine will check back into the lineup for right. Mitchell Strohshine will replace Lane Strohshine. As you said uh, before we went on, Mike, this a young team for right, only two seniors. Glasser and Vasquez, both good basketball players, but they're pretty young. And he uses his bench. He goes deep. Yeah. Here's a fadeaway up and good by Glasser. And we're in the scoring column here in the second half. The lead is 15 for Lingle. They have it. Arnish works around a screen, goes left side, outside now to Roberts. Right side, they'll feed it to Nelson. Work it around the arc. Cook in the paint, trying to find him. Will lob it right side. So Nelson leans in, lobs to Cook. Wide open, bank it up good. Nice recognition there by Nelson. Gets the easy assist. So the Doggers answer. And in paint, the fadeaway 14-footer is up and no good by Warman. And the Doggers with the long lead up ahead is going to be deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with Lingle. As the Panthers did a nice job getting back on defense there. Man. Clark and Associates scoreboard. Lingle leads 44-27. to Bounce pass into Roberts. Burns along the baseline. Kicks it to an open Nelson in paint. Shot up no good. Rebound Neely. Nelson struggled from the field. Needs to get the lid off. He's a kid that can score. Neely leans in for a five-footer. No good. Gets his rebound at second chance points. That is good, and we'll get a timeout called by Pat Neely. Will break as well. 3.44 to go third quarter. Lingle leads 44-29. We'll be back right after this. At point 
Prince West Community Bank, we know that agriculture is more than a business. It is a way of life. With over 94 years of experience in serving Goshen County, we understand and value the ways of our local farmers and ranchers through the quality of banking services and lending relationships. We take the time to know our customer and learn their operation firsthand. Stop in today to meet with our friendly and experienced lending staff to discuss your agricultural business needs. We look forward to seeing you. Points West Community Bank, a new direction in banking. Equal Housing Lender member FDIC. They say the best offense is a good defense. This theory applies on Wyoming's roads and highways just as much as it does on the basketball court. Always know road conditions before you head out. Visit wyoroad.info, download YDOT's 511 app, or call 511 for current conditions. Buckle up every trip, every time, and put away distractions, especially your phone, so you're better prepared for the unexpected. Finally, never drink and drive, not even a little, because buzz driving is drunk driving. This message brought to you by YDOT. 44 to 29, Lingle has led throughout this game. They come into this SmackDown tournament not ranked. Right on the other hand, ranked number one in Class 2A. They put up 100 last night against Lusk. Jace didn't believe me when I told him that. Didn't he? Why would I lie about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been known to pull a leg. <laughs> Left side. Nice streaming move by Ned Nelson as he knocks one down off the glass. He and Cook have kind of figured out a two-man game there between yeah. them. A little street ball. Yeah. Neely, now he's open, will fire a 17-footer, left it short. Rebound brought down by Roberts. Roberts up ahead now to Nelson in paint. Bank it up, that's no good, but Hatch is there to pull down the board, and the Doggers reload here. Up high to Cook, feeds in deep. Nelson wide open, shot up, no good, but he is fouled. Ned Nelson getting in the mix here. Got a bucket on the last trip. Now will go to the free throw line to shoot a pair. Jackson Neely picks up number three. Hornets and Rams coming up next. As Pine will take on Bighorn. Shot on the way. Good by Ned Nelson. A six-foot-one junior. Speaking of youth, I mean, this, this daughter team is... Very young. Point well taken. Nolan Spears, the only senior Leo uh, Belly, but Spears out with an injury right now as the second free throw won't fall for Nelson. Right with a basketball. Under three minutes to play in the third. Lingle with the lead, 47 to 29. Here's a free throw line shot up and good. Knocking that one down was Lane Strohshine. Yeah, nice recognition of the spacing there and had an opportunity. Now a near turnover. Arnish in trouble, bringing it up the floor. It's knocked away out of bounds, but knocked away by the right Panthers. Now the right faithful wants to argue that that should be their basketball. I'm not sure they don't have a point. Lingle gets it as Hatch feeds right side to Arnish. Now in deep, Roberts in a double team. Shot up, no good, but he is fouled. Who are they going to get here? Going to get Jackson Robb with the personal foul just off of the bright bench. That's his first. That is the fourth team foul, so Lingle will shoot the double bonus here the rest of the way. First on the way, no good. Rims out by Brody Roberts. Roberts will have another trying to add to 13 points. Second, no good. Long rebound deflected, picked up by Strohshine. Gets it away to Vasquez, their point guard. Cross the timeline, bounce pass in. Brody uh, Cook right there to snatch it away. And up ahead, they lead it to Thomas. Right side, Hatch. Head fake and will kick it back up. Top of the key to Arnish. Back to Hatch, open for three, fires, that's off. Long rebound comes to Vasquez. Has it on a breakaway in paint, no good, but he is fouled. Neither of the officials wants to make the call. <laughs> I'm going to say it's a block. They're sending Vasquez to the free throw line. I look to you to see your thoughts. Yeah, yeah, that's what they called. And he was out of control. The two officials wanted to confer, and neither one of them wanted to make the calls. So they are going to say that he was in fouled in the act of shooting, 
and Anthony Arnish picks up the foul. It's number three on him. He plays hard. Vasquez at the line, first nothing but net. As Mike said, this team, from what we've seen in just one game yesterday, shoots very well at the free throw line. Second on the way, that's good. Now, a substitution, Ned Nelson into the lineup. <coughs> Replacing Arnish, 2.03 to go here in the third. Cuts the lead to 14, 47-33 on the CNA scoreboard. Now under two minutes to go in the third. Roberts bounce pass Eli Hatch into Cook. Cook having trouble with it, going to have to save it inbounds. He stepped on the inline. Yeah, boy, he was open. And yeah, it was. Yeah, just couldn't wrestle the pass in. Yeah, I really thought he was going to uh, have an easy finish there, but wasn't meant to be. Bounce pass in, Strohshine, the fadeaway, five-footer, no good, gets his own board, put back good. You know, he's having a much better game than he did last night. Wasn't much of a factor in that game, but uh, playing well here this morning. Cuts the lead to 12. They'll slap on the pressure in the backcourt and... Foul What's on Rob. Call? Yeah, they picked up the personal foul on Jackson Rob. So the sophomore gets number two, and that will send Brody Roberts to the free throw line. He'll shoot the double bonus. Right now, one of four at the free throw line is Roberts. As you said, a new uh, foul rule in high school athletics. The first free throw, a miss. And that rule is what, Michael? Start over every quarter uh, on the fifth uh, team foul for the quarter. It's an automatic double bonus the rest of the way, but then it resets in each quarter. Second. Good, nothing but net as Brody Roberts knocks it down. 48 to 35, Lingle. They have led throughout this game. Top of the key, Strohshine. Neely, long three, and he knocks it down. You know, his first bucket of the game was a long three. That one's his first yeah. one since then. The lead is 10 for Lingle, and we're going to have a steal by Neely. Long lead up ahead, Strohshine in paint, gets through one defender, shot up, it's gonna be blocked by Thomas, gets the ball back and then walks with it. Yeah, you can feel a little momentum shift here though. Wright making their run. Lingle, just with six points in the quarter here, could use a couple of good offensive sets that are productive here as we near the end of the third. Arnish back in with three fouls. Yes. Has the basketball. Lingle up 10, under a minute to play in the third. Arnish keeps the ball hot on the dribble, top of the key, swings left side to Thomas. Doggers will run their offense now, bad pass, deflected away, will get a reach. After the steal was Strohshine. Truett picks up his first and it will send Roberts back to the free throw line. So yeah, Lingle spending their time at the line in this quarter. And back up there is Brody Roberts with the double bonus, first on the way, good. Yeah, as Michael said, you can see a shift in momentum here and Lingle can pad those points here at the line, at least for the next 40 seconds. Roberts has one more. Second free throw, left it short. Rebound Neely. Gives it up to Vasquez. He'll jog it up the floor. 30 seconds left to go in the quarter. Left side Neely, deep three again from the left angle. That's no good. Long rebound run down. Panthers have it, will feed right side. Strohshine dribbles in paint. The runner and the alley-oop shot no good and we'll get a jump ball off of the loose ball. Ling will have to burn the possession arrow. No, excuse me, Wright will have the possession. Neely to inbound at 18 seconds left to go. Feeds it up top to Vasquez. Thomas will come up to defend, 10 seconds left. 
Feeds right side, outside. Hatch almost got a steal there. Up top to Neely, deep three, that is no good. Strohshine after it, can't save it as they go out of bounds. And that's the end of the quarter. The end of three. The right Panthers keep hanging around. Lingle leads it on the Clark and Associates scoreboard. 49 to 38, we'll be back right after this. Carpet is proud to have been your flooring expert for the past 44 years. Honoring small town values, yet featuring a huge selection that is sure to surprise. Choose from their stock of carpet, hardwood, vinyl plank, vinyl tile, or sheet vinyl for any project. And they have the experts on hand to install them all, giving you a look you'll love for years to come. Stop in and visit today. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturdays from 9 to 1. Anderson Carpet in Lingle. This is Wade Brew, Market President with Pinnacle Bank. Pinnacle Bank has been serving the lending needs of farmers, ranchers, and commercial business owners in the Wyobraska area where we've called home for over a hundred years. Let us put our resources to work for you with local decision making from a family owned bank. Give us a call or visit us at www.wypinnbank.com. Pinnacle Bank, Torrington and Mitchell, the way banking should be. Member FDIC. Back live in Lingle. Entertaining game. We've had some dandies here yesterday. Had a couple in Lusk from that tournament. Games being played at Niobrara County High School and here at Lingle. A reminder that Pine and Bighorn coming up next. Lingle with the basketball to open the fourth quarter. They lead by 11. Cook has it up high. Feeds in deep along the baseline. Shot on the way. Thomas maybe wanted to call there, but it was clean. Got a block there, and the Panthers out of there with it. Vasquez has it at the top. Right side, outside, three ball on the way. That's off no good by Warman. And we'll get a foul off of the loose ball rebound. It's an outstanding job of boxing out there by Skyler Thomas to get, uh, to get Glasser over the back. That is Glasser's third personal. Thomas will inbound it. You kind of see uh, maybe an approach here by Lingle. They're going to spread this floor and be very patient in their offense. Panthers slap on a little backcourt pressure. Lingle breaks it. Feeds in to Cook. Kick it back out. Right elbow. Arnish in the corner right side. Three ball on the way. Good by Ned Nelson. Well, you just can't drop a better offensive set right there if you are Chris Cook. Spread that half-court offense and... Nelson had the answer. Panthers with the basketball. Now here's a steal by Arnish. Arnish on a breakaway. Left side. Wild shot put up, but there is contact. They whistle a foul? Yeah, I think they're going to get Neely. He's not going to be happy about it. I think he altered the shot. They're going to say that he bumped him in the head. They call that the noggin bump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll new, new term. Exactly. Arnish to the free throw line, his first trip. And the first is in and out, no good. But Lingle could have helped themselves considerably at the free throw line. Three of five at the half, but uh, I'm going to have to say under 50% for the game. I'll get a number for you after this free throw by Arnish. Second on the way. That is good. Puts Lingle back up 15. Still plenty of time here in the fourth. Strohshine now. Spin move in the paint. Shot up. Rolls off no good, but he is fouled. Aggressive move there by Truett Strohshine. He is athletic. Yeah, your number on the Doggers from the free throw line, 7 of 15 as Strohshine will go back to the free throw line. The personal foul went on Brady Cook, his second. First free throw, nothing but net for Strohshine. He's a six-foot sophomore. That's his first point of the game. That kind of surprises me. Yeah. Second, nothing but net. Boy, they do shoot well from the line. Yes, they do. 53-39. to 39. Doggers lead on the CNA scoreboard. Backcourt pressure. Ned Nelson, now they'll throw it across the timeline to Cook. Picks up, top of the key. Will feed right side, 
Arnish, and he'll set up the offense. Left side to Thomas. I can tell you one thing about this Lingle team. They are going to be hard to press. They've got great guards, and Arnish with it out top, kind of showing it right there. Yeah, he handles the ball well. Nelson finds Roberts. He'll take it right side, outside. Burning some clock here as he'll step in. That shot is blocked by Strohshine. Out of there with it. Strohshine right side, shot up, no good. <clears throat> but we will get a foul coming up the floor, called by Wilson. They called the carry uh, out here, which I would have to agree with Pat Neely. It looked like there was contact there that maybe caused that. How about the block by Strohshine on the yeah, other end? It was with authority. <laughs> yes, it was. Backcourt pressure again as the Doggers looking to break it. Timeout taken by Pat. Called a bench warning on him. Uh, they have warned Pat Neely uh, for complaining, so mm -hmm. that uh, stops play. Which so I like the officiating move rather than just whacking him with one and changing the flow of the game. Warn him. Now he knows. Yeah. Doggers inbound it. Arnish has it. Right elbow. 5.50 to go. Bounce pass into Cook in a double team. Feeds it up high to Nelson. Back left side to Thomas. He'll make it up good from the left side. I'll tell you what, if Ned Nelson has done nothing else in this game, he sees people under the basket and has created some easy looks. Distributed that one. Vasquez now lobs in Strohshine. Nice spin move left side. The left-handed runner is no good or skyhook. And the Doggers out of there with it. He had that point blank. Lingle with the basketball, they lead 55-39. Arnish on the dribble, leans in, 14-footer on the way, got it. Ooh, nice little playground look there for Arnish, got the teardrop in the lane. That's his first field goal. Actually, no change that, he had a uh, three-pointer. Strohshine along the baseline from five, no good. Lingle out of there with it. Contact at midcourt. And now we'll get a whistle. They'll stop play and a foul. It's going to go on Lane Strohshine, his second. Neely's going to do a little offense defense substitution here. He had sent Jackson to the uh, to check in, but now he's going to pull him back and wait until they're going to be on offense. Arnish. Good ball handler, as we said. Ooh. Away from the basketball. Yeah, an interesting call down there. They're going to get Brody Roberts with the foul. Team control foul. I think he and Strohshan got uh, tangled up down there, and they called Roberts with the foul. The good news is that is Brody's first and only the second team. Vasquez. Trying to get something going for the right Panthers with four and a half to go in this one. In paint, five-footer on the way. That rims in, shot good by Glasser. And a timeout called by Pat Neely. 4.32 to go in this one. On the Clark and Associates scoreboard, Lingo leads 57 to 41. We'll be back right after this. From Banner Health Torrington Community Hospital. In order to provide better access into our facility, there will be ongoing construction with the parking lot on the south side of the campus. Patients needing to visit our orthopedic providers, podiatry, or general surgeons may use the newly completed parking area south of the medical office building. For all other patients needing outpatient testing or to visit a friend or loved one, use the north entrance until further notice. For continued updates on this project, check out our Facebook page. Banner Health Torrington Community Hospital. Making health care easier so life can be better. Get a reminder, uh, we're not done after this one. The Pine Bluffs Hornets at half court getting ready to take on the Bighorn Rams. We'll have that for you here. And these games not only being heard on KERM-FM, you can also view them via our video stream. Go to YouTube and click on KGOS Sports. And you can see not only this game, but the game coming up next. Cowboy ba basketball today, too. Do we have pokes on the air? Uh, not, yes. I know they play Tuesday as well. Yeah, it's tonight. As Cook has it in a double team now. 
Right side lobs in under the basket. Tough shot put up by Brody Roberts. The putback attempt by Cook is no good, and he will be fouled. One casual observation here about this Lingle team, they distribute the ball very well to one another. Cook doing a nice job finding Roberts inside, then climbs the ladder to get the offensive board. He'll go to the free throw line. The personal foul goes on Mitchell Strohshine. That is his first. First free throw by Cook is good. Yeah, that'll be a good one tonight. Tim talking about that, New Mexico. From the pit? Eight o'clock start, yeah. Eight o'clock tip off. 7.30 pregame as Cook steps back up there. Shot good. Hits them both. And with 4.10 left to go, the Panthers with a basketball. Shot up. No good by Neely. That was a deep three. And the long rebound comes away to Roberts. Up ahead now. Bad pass stolen away by the Panthers. They'll try to force one on the other end to Strohshine. That'll go out of bounds. And Lingle gets it back. Yeah, right with the chance here to cut into this lead, but uh, can't convert. A couple of back-to-back -back turnovers, substitutions back into the ball game. Wright's going to get her done. They might want to make a move here quickly, trailing 18. Yeah. They'll keep the pressure in the backcourt now. Strohshine knocks it away, has it in the paint, shot up no good, but it'll be fouled as he made a move. Nice job there by Strohshine. He'll go back to the free throw line where he has been effective. Three of four right now. The personal foul goes on Anthony Arnish, number four. Well, you don't want him out of that lineup, especially facing pressure. Right. They will inbound it as it was on the floor, the violation. And Jackson Neely will inbound it to Vasquez. Now they have teed up Coach Pat Neely. He was warned, just kept going. Wouldn't let him, uh, wouldn't let it go. So Joe Wilson slaps him with one, and that'll mean free throws on the other end. Elijah Hatch will go to the free throw line. So Hatch to the line. First free throw on the way. That's good. He is money. Yes, he is. He has been a huge. Lift off of the bench. Now he and Roberts both with 15 in the contest. Looks like a stringy wrestler. Doesn't look like a basketball player, but boy, is he good. Yeah. Yeah, and just was instant offense from the very beginning here this morning. Steps back up there. Hatch the next free throw. Nothing but net. and Lingle basketball. The lead is 20 for the Doggers. 3.42 left to go. As Arnish with the basketball. Kicks it left side on the angle to Nelson. Right back to Arnish as the Doggers now will spread the half court offense. Arnish to the free throw line, still hot on the dribble. 3.20 left to go as they will eat some clock here. Bounce pass to Roberts along the baseline. Found Cook wide open, left it short. And then a frustration goes over the back. How many times do you see that happen? Yeah. They miss that bunny and then climb the ladder or try and go over the back to get the uh, rebound. So it will be Panther basketball. Double bonus the rest of the way for both teams here. It's been an entertaining basketball tournament last couple of days. Some great teams. Yeah, and as we mentioned, you just don't get to see these matchups until usually until regional tournament. Yeah. Panthers with the bat. Vasquez now. He'll fire a 15-footer. That rims out. That was halfway down. And the ball will go out of bounds. Back to Lingle with just under three minutes to go. All the girls are up north in this tournament. As Mike had some scores there right after the half. Those games being played at Sundance and Wright. 
Doggers with the basketball here, content to eat some clock, and have really spread the half-court offense here as Roberts has it. Now Burns baseline, kick it out on a corner as Arnish on the dribble, 235. Sure hate to have to run him down. Yeah. He's gonna wear himself out here as well. He'll get a quick foul from Lane Strohshine. I don't know if you could wear that kid out. Watched him in football and basketball, and apparently he's an outstanding soccer player too. He's in better shape than you and I are. Oh yeah. Yeah. He'll go to the free throw line here. First could, one no good. Couldn't connect on the first one. Not a Big kid at all, five foot seven. Just a sophomore on this team, but yeah, great ball handler. And yeah, he's that kid that you need as your floor general out there. Mm -hmm. Put the ball in his hands and gets a second free throw. Now two of four at the free throw line. Puts the Doggers up by 21. 220 left to go. Neely working right side. Leans in, tough shot over a defender, no good. Lingle after it, and Cook's going to step out of bounds. Glove the rebound on the end line, so it will stay with Wright. Neely to inbound it. Lobs it up high to Vasquez. Roberts will come up and defend him. Strohshine now left side. Left wide open, they'll find Glasser trying to lob in and the Doggers out of there with it. Nelson comes up with it. Arnish brings it out of the backcourt. Now under two minutes to play. Left hatch wide open in the left corner and he'll elect not to take the shot. Now trying to pass it around a defender. Lingle will throw it away here, right? No, no. they're going to say that Strohshine touched it, and he is adamant that he didn't. So Lingle may have dodged a bullet there. Yeah. Crowd does not like it. The right crowd into Brody Cook, and he puts it up good. Brady Cook, excuse me. Well, Left had, him wide open, and he knocked that down. You had your Brodies and your Bradys <laughs> all tangled up there, didn't you? <laughs> tomato, tomato. Mm-hmm. Shot along the baseline up good by Vasquez, but I think it's a little too late here as we'll get a quick timeout by Pat Neely. Minute 21 left to go. CNA scoreboard. Lingo leads 64-43. We're back right after this. Lumber has a way for you to save big on the first Saturday of every month. And all you have to do is become a rewards program member. Stop in the store today and get enrolled. Then, the first Saturday of every month, when you shop at Blodorn Lumber, they'll take 10% off your entire purchase, no matter what it is. It's that easy. Become a rewards program member today. Stop in at Blodorn Lumber and sign up. Located at 219 West 21st Avenue. Back live in Lingle. So the number one ranked team in Class 2A appears to be going down here. They came in 9-1 and one on the year. Only lost to... Well, we never did figure that out. Uh, the only We could only assume that they had beaten Wyoming Indian, but had lost one of their early season tournaments. I don't know who their other loss is to. Well, they're going to get number two here as Lingle... Non-ranked. Now there's a three ball on the way. Bilingual, a missed shot. Panthers with a basketball. We are now under a minute to play. Vasquez in paint, leans in, tough shot, got it. And a quick timeout taken by Pat Neely. 64-45 Doggers under a minute to play. We'll be back right after this. Deal means you can carry out one topping pizzas for $7.99 each when you order online or by phone. Just in case there's any confusion, we've even set up a helpful website to confirm if today is a day you can carry out one topping pizzas for $7.99 each. Just go to howabouttoday.com to find out if Domino's carry out deal is valid today. Spoiler alert, it is. Carry out only. Ask for this offer. Availability and charges may vary. Size availability varies by crust type. Excludes XL and specialty. Your local store may charge extra for some toppings and sauces. 
Points West Community Bank, we know that agriculture is more than a business. It is a way of life. With over 94 years of experience in serving Goshen County, we understand and value the ways of our local farmers and ranchers through the quality of banking services and lending relationships. We take the time to know our customer and learn their operation firsthand. Stop in today to meet with our friendly and experienced lending staff to discuss your agricultural business needs. We look forward to seeing you. Points West Community Bank, a new direction in banking. Equal Housing Lender member FDIC. Points West Bank and Lingle, proud supporter of the Lingle Fort Laramie Doggers. Dogger basketball. Under a minute to play. We're going to pull off the upset here. That lone loss to right was to Wyoming Indian as they lost by one. So this class 2A boys from our side, that's going to be pretty fun to watch. Yeah. And as as we mentioned there yesterday, you look forward to that regional tournament and some of the matchups that uh, that could happen. I would say, uh, who do you count out in that tournament? Nobody. I I mean, it could go a lot of different ways as the first free throw no good by Strohshine. We saw Wright beat Lusk last night 100 to 80, but that game was a lot closer than that. Yeah, yeah, that until halfway through the fourth quarter could have really gone either way. Second free throw good. Doggers with the basketball and just winding the clock down now as Nelson has it left side on the dribble, brings it up top to Arnish. 32 seconds left. Lobs in for Cook in paint, kicks it back out to Hatch. Now 20 to go. I've got to say, in our production meeting last night, who called this? You did. I did. You did. I saw this one coming. You know, and I uh, mentioned it to Ryan yesterday. Uh, we were talking about the ranked teams that are involved with this deal, let alone the unranked teams, including Lingle and Pine Bluffs, that would like to think that they've got something to say about it. Now a timeout going to be taken by Coach Chris Cook. Something happened to Roberts there? I'm not. She's gimpy. In the midsection there, I think you'll be all right. 20 seconds left to go in this one. Doggers up 64 46. We'll take a short break and be right back. When you grow corn for a living, you're always looking for the latest advances to help your fields be more profitable. That's why it's time to turn to Channel. When you plant elite Channel seed products, you also get the services of your very own Channel Seedsman. For customized service, expert advice, and elite seed products, your local Channel Seedsman is Cole Coxville. Be sure to ask him about other crop options as well, including soybeans. Call 575-2147. I'm Maggie Myers, your Torrington Edward Jones Financial Advisor. We're all about financial investments, but we also value the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why Edward Jones is proud to cheer on our area teams on KGOS KERM. Call 532-3431 or visit edwardjones.com for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, member SIPC. So to the free throw line is Brody Roberts. And the first free throw is good. Now four of nine at the free throw line. He must be all right. He turned around, he's smiling at his teammate. Second one good, nothing but net. Hit them both. He's got 17 in the game. Doggers lead by 20. 15 seconds left. Vasquez in paint. The 12-footer on the way. Good. And Cook now will throw it across down to five seconds left to go. And the Lingle Fort Laramie Doggers are going to knock off the number one team in the state in Class 2A. They defeat the Wright Panthers 66-48. And we will be back with a look at end of the game scoring right after we pause for this two-minute timeout. 
Go Goshen is a nonprofit organization that has been helping economic development in Goshen County since 1987. In Goshen County, small business is big business, which is why Go Goshen's top priority is the retention and expansion of local businesses. Want to learn more? Tune in every Tuesday morning at 8.05 on 98.3 KERM FM for Goshen in the Know. You'll hear the latest from Go Goshen team members on business news and events in the county. Or visit gogoshen.com. Whether you're a Wyoming Cowboy fan or a Trailblazer, Lancer, Dogger, or Cyclone, Heartline Embroidery has the apparel and accessories you need to show your school colors. Stop in a store on Main Street in Torrington and take a look for yourself. From jackets and t-shirts to everyday gear and accessories, we promise you'll find something for the whole family. With new items always coming into the store, you'll always find that perfect item to show off your school spirit. Only at Heartland Embroidery, downtown Torrington. Hi, this is Aubrey at First State Bank in Torrington. Do you feel a chill from your current bank? Snuggle up with Totally Free Checking. Join the warmth of our First State Bank family with a checking account that's truly free. You can cash in and get $25 when you bring in your debit cards and unused checks from your current bank when you open a new checking account. Know what else will make you feel warm and fuzzy? When you open a checking account, you'll get a free gift, a velvety soft Sherpa blanket. That's our way of saying thank you. First State Bank in Torrington, a division of Glacier Bank, member FDIC. Your farm or ranch is unique. Your insurance coverage should be too. I'm Kyle Rafferty, and at JGL8 Insurance Center, we provide coverage for everything you work hard for day in and day out. We tailor coverages to meet the needs of your operation. Together, we can find the right policy to protect you from the unexpected. Give me a call at 532-2147 or drop by my office here in Torrington. JGL8 Insurance, a Platte Valley company. Are you planning a kitchen remodel but don't know where to start? Hi, this is Dan Shields from Century Lumber. Start with semi-custom diamond cabinets and Century Lumber. Diamond cabinets offer the latest door styles and finishes at an affordable price. I can walk you through all the features and benefits and provide a free estimate and expert design. Stop in and turn that vision of your dream kitchen into a reality with the help of Century Lumber Center in Torrington. Shopping for a used vehicle can be a scary proposition. Who can you trust? Laramie Peak Motors in Wheatland is who you can trust. At Laramie Peak Motors, they keep and purchase only the best pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Then they're subject to a full certification inspection before making them available. But that's not all. Their motto is old-fashioned service for modern times. They stand behind everything they sell. Laramie Peak Motors, I-25, exit 80 in Wheatland. Easy to get to from anywhere in southeastern Wyoming. Laramie Peak Motors. Lingle Fort Laramie victorious today in the SmackDown tournament as they defeat the Wright Panthers by 18. And it's time now for a look at the end of the game wrap up. Brought to you by number 34. The importance of mental health has never been more prevalent, especially when it comes to the youth in our area. Shad and the crew at number 34 have been serving our area youth for over 15 years. They're currently looking for a family care coordinator and a family support partner. Call 532-0134 to learn more about employment opportunities. And here's Michael with a look at the scoring. So uh, let's look at right here first. They were led in scoring by Jackson Neely. Neely with 13 points, a pair with 12 points apiece. Dolan Glasser and Jacob Vasquez, seven points for Mitchell Strohshine, three points for Lane Strohshine, two points for Truett Strohshine. Total of 48. Right as a team shoots 10 of 15 at the free throw line. Lingle Fort Laramie was led by Brody Roberts. The junior was 17 points. He um, was followed by Elijah Hatch. Hatch with 16 points. 12 points for Brady Cook. Four points for Ned Nelson. Four points for Skyler Thomas and for Anthony Arnish. As a team, Lingle 12 of 20 at the free throw line. So, big win for Lingle, and now they'll have a chance to go 4-0 in this uh 2 AE SmackDown. Yeah, impressive win. Um, big win for the Doggers. Shakes things up in the rankings in Class 2A. And we will move on to the next game here as the Pine Bluffs Hornets get set to take on the Bighorn Rams. That game coming up here in about seven minutes or so. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors making these broadcasts possible. We'll pause take a break here from some of our sponsors and be back with more on the pregame show for this Pine Bluffs matchup. 